Hey, my name is Bill James. I'm the director and founder of Uganda Kids Project and co-founder of Agents for Christ. Hi, I'm Danielle James. I'm the wife of Pastor Bill James. We oversee Uganda Kids Project. God sent us to Uganda through a series of miracles of God's clear calling to come here. We didn't know what God was calling us to do, but we um, just trusted God. We went, worked at an orphanage for the uh, first 18 months, and while we were at that orphanage, God showed us this huge need. Everywhere kids were suffering. Families had nothing. They had no food, no housing, no clothing. They were just suffering outside the walls of the orphanage, and God really spoke to me and said, I didn't call you here for this orphanage. I've called you for these people. Kids, in particularly here in Uganda, were marginalized, not valued. There was not a lot of importance put on them as people. And we felt a desire to show them how much God loves them and how important they really are. I think the goal behind the ministry as a whole is to minister to people the love of Jesus through biblical discipleship, through a Christian education, through healthcare, all of it being holistic, meaning that we want to reach the whole person and see transformation in their life through the gospel of Jesus. A lot of people want to do orphanages, but God already created an institution called the family. And then from the very beginning, God created the family, that a man should leave his father and mother and to be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one. And the goal was to just see them be healthy, serving Jesus, putting Jesus first in their, as a family, and as a family worshiping God, and as a family being uh, fruitful. Day to day, the ministry looks like a whirlwind. <laughs> we have a medical center, a church, a school, school of ministry. We have people overseeing the garden projects. We have people overseeing the school. We have 13 teachers. We have five cooks. We have a janitor. We have 245 kids. We have all these different things going on every single day. It's basically a very full day of Bible study, teaching the Bible, teaching different theology courses, different things, and a school running. So every day, busy. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Very, very busy. I'd always believed that God was going to one day have us plant a church somewhere. Never expected it would be Uganda, but I felt like God spoke to me very clearly. Give them water for their bodies and waters for their spirit. So uh, I was starting a Bible study as far as feeding them with the Word of God and uh, putting in a water project. Um, that was the you know, water for their body, for their physical body. And uh, I just knew that starting a Bible study, the plant, the goal would be to plant a Calvary Chapel. As we came here, we started a Bible study. The Bible study grew into Calvary Chapel Ashunga. Believe it or not, the prosperity gospel and a lot, of, a lot of other false teachings are very present. And people, they fall victim to those false teachings very easily. So we wanted to be able to give them a place where truth was taught where they could really know the God of the Bible and we could see their lives transformed through that. We also saw a need for the next generation in America to be transformed and we wanted to have do something that would impact uh, the lives of young adults and, and challenge youth to follow Christ, not the world. And then as that developed into 10th Hour Project, which always was part of it, is serving in a third world country is a huge growth uh, tool that God uses in people's lives. So we saw the whole thing fitting together as a way to disciple young men and women, see them be mission-minded all the time, whether they are a pastor, preacher, plumber, teacher, housewife, that they would put Jesus first as their first ministry. Wow, I love 10th Hour. I'm so excited that we have the opportunity to have 10th Hour be a part of what's going on here. Many hands make light work. And being that there's a lot going on here, just having um, young people with a fresh perspective, with a fresh uh, enthusiasm, brings a lot of encouragement and it brings a lot of help. So I foresee many things in the future with 10th Hour, uh, working at the school, working at the medical clinic, partnering with us as we go out into the community. Well, in personal lives, we've seen tons of people that were addicted to alcohol, and totally destroyed, be restored individually. 
Um, we've also, as our goal is the whole family, we've seen families completely transformed that they didn't have anything and widows and orphans that had nothing. Now they have uh, the family, their father has moved back, the family's back together and they're now serving Jesus. One of the biggest impacts that it has had was, uh, well, bringing two cultures together. So as a whole, we don't really look at it like a Ugandan culture. We don't look at it like an American culture, but we look at it as two different groups of people coming together as a Jesus culture, trying to make Jesus the focus of what we're doing. Well, I believe it's gonna have an impact in Uganda because we're training up the next generation of children to serve Jesus Christ. And as they grow up, I know it's gonna transform the whole you know, it's gonna make an impact in the whole country. There's such a huge need in Uganda. We're at one little dot in Southwest Uganda and we're the only ministry here. So the goal would be to then uh, train up other Ugandans and Americans to go and plant another project here in Southwest Uganda. And by God's grace, more projects, many more to reach many more kids because there's millions. Yeah, I mean, it caused a hu huge amount of growth in my personal life. Um, had a lot of challenges in a third world country with lying, cheating, and stealing. Um, I've been had attacks from, from Ugandans, from Americans. The devil is working hard to try to destroy this work and uh, it's caused us to really grow in patience, trusting God that through the difficulties um, he's still at work and um, just basically teaching us to trust him. On a day-to-day -day basis, I've seen God bring daily bread, literally, because sometimes we don't know how we're gonna make it. We have things that have to be done, we have people that need to be paid, and we don't know how it's gonna happen. And then suddenly, they'll bring me money from pineapples that was sold, and I look at it like daily bread, and I see God is always faithful to provide, and we never lack for anything, we never want for anything. We know that He's with us. I think what God has been speaking to me lately is about perspective. It's about how we look at this life and it's about how we look at what God is doing. And it has nothing to do with us, but it has everything to do with Him. It's just amazing how God works everything out, every detail of everything. You don't even know that, what He's doing, but as you look back, you see all the little details that God was doing behind the scenes to fulfill the calling he has for us. So it's been amazing to watch God work, amazing to grow in God's in faith and in, uh, trusting the Lord. See him just do all this, it's a complete miracle. None of this would have happened without Jesus. We love Jesus, we're willing to follow him, however he may lead, wherever he may go. And that's the greatest pleasure that we can have is to follow our King.